Africa has long been known for offering travelers some of the most unique cultural and wildlife experiences on planet Earth. So when planning our honeymoon, this experience of a lifetime quickly became the top of our list, which leads us to here. Welcome to the JW Marriott Masai Mara Lodge, where this week we're doing two safari experiences, one here in Kenya, one out in Tanzania, and I'm curious to see which one is going to be better, which one's going to be more interesting, but let's start all the way back at the beginning in Kenya's capital of Nairobi. Are you excited to go on safari? I am so excited to go on safari. Why are you sitting all the way over there? It's part of my own window. <laughs> To begin our journey of comparing the world's top safari resorts, we hopped on this flight from Nairobi to Kikarok Airstrip in the middle of the Masai Mara. This flight took around one hour and we spent the whole time staring out the window at the vast savanna below before getting off the plane to experience it firsthand. We got some coffee and refreshments here. And we're about to head on the Jeep ride over to the resort. It's gonna be about 45 minutes, so we might stop along the way if there's some animals. Which animal do you want to see the best? Elephant. Elephant! Upon landing, we hopped in the JW Marriott's incredible safari jeep to head to the lodge itself. Now, to our surprise, this quick drive came with countless encounters with some incredible animals, which was an amazing way to start our honeymoon here in Kenya. All right, after a very long journey, we finally arrived here at the JW Marriott Masai Mara Lodge. We're gonna check out our deluxe suite. This is crazy. You can already see into the suite through these tented surfaces on the outside, but here we are at the main deck, and then here you've got views of the river. Here you've got the whirlpool, which we're gonna check out later on. And then let's step in. Oh, wow, this is insane. And look at the bed decorations. They've decorated the bed really nicely here for a honeymoon. Looks really beautiful. Looking over on this side, you've got a little desk that you can work from. Looking straight out into Mother Nature. Here's the sitting area, the main kind of gathering place in the suite. Two really nice sofas. I love the decor over here. Some more flower petals, more decorations. And then on this side, you've got the mini bar. Now the special thing about the JW Marriott Masai Mara is that it's all inclusive, no matter whether you book on cash or on points. So basically everything in this mini bar is included. You've got your London dry gin here. You've got your Irish whiskey, bottle of bubbly for us, celebrating our honeymoon. And of course all the snacks. And I gotta say, this is gonna be pretty dangerous because it's all inclusive, drinks, food. We're gonna be enjoying ourselves. All right, stepping into the bathroom now, you've got this really beautiful space. I love the use of wood all over the suite, in particular over here in the bathroom. Two separate chambers, one for the toilet, one for the shower over there. We'll go take a look later on. For now, check out these marble patterns on the surfaces, nicely sanded on top. Take you into the showers now, check this out. Here you've got your indoor shower, super luxurious, super nice. And then it wouldn't be a luxury resort without an outdoor shower experience as well. And if you look at that, outdoor shower, looking straight out into the nature. Imagine just showering here and you see rhinos passing by, you see hippos in the distance. This is gonna be a very, very enjoyable home for the next four nights. Jesse, what do you think about this room? It's so cool. What's your favorite part? The coverings for all the lights. Oh, uh, these things? Yeah. <laughs> It's 6.30 a.m., bright and early. We're going on a morning game drive. Yesterday in the afternoon, we saw lions, we saw elephants. Totally crazy experience. I'm really curious what it's gonna be like in the morning, what we're gonna see. Now, the crazy thing about staying here at the JW Marriott Masai Mara is they've got a partnership with Canon, the camera company. So you actually get to use these telephoto lenses for free take them with you on the game drives, shoot images and video. It's my first time using a big camera like this. Can't wait to see what shots we're able to get. Within minutes, we checked off Jesse's goal of seeing an elephant and that was just the beginning. Look at all these elephants. Look at the little, little, little one. <laughs> Over the next few hours, we saw countless animals in their natural habitats, from lions to boars to zebras to gazelles. I've never seen so much wildlife in one place before. Our guide shared with us all there is to know and got us up close and personal with the animals, so this camera gear made us feel like Nat Geo photographers. This was truly a memory I'll never forget. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> Now it does get quite hot in the midday here in the middle of the savanna around lunchtime. That's just something to be aware of. It gets a little bit uncomfortable and inside the lodge, there's no air conditioning either. Thank God there's gazpacho for lunch to help cool down. Jesse has some strong opinions about gazpacho. Soup should not be cold. Cold soup 
is sauce or a milkshake or yogurt. Soup should be hot. Soup should warm you up. Soup should not cool you <laughs> down. Milkshakes cool you down. But it's a hot day. <laughs> Ice cool you down. That is just a bowl of sauce. But it's a hot that day. That is a bowl of sauce. This is cooling me or it's down. A bowl, it's a smoothie. That is not <laughs> soup. It should not be cold. Now, another super interesting thing you can do when staying at the JW Marriott is go for a tour of a Maasai village. We enjoyed our time learning about the local lifestyle after being welcomed with a unique dance and even getting to participate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everything's been quite good about the JW Marriott Masai Mara. The game drives have been great, everything's been fun, it's been really enjoyable, but the one problem about this property is that there's a lack of air conditioning basically anywhere. And that means during the middle of the day in the room it gets super hot, so basically the only place to take respite is here by the pool, and that's what we've been doing for the past two, three, four days. At least the pool water's super cold, super chill, but it's really the only place to cool off. I hear the Four Seasons in Serengeti actually has air conditioning though, so that's something we're looking forward to as we wrap up our stay here in Masai Mara. On our last morning before departing the JW Marriott and heading to Tanzania, we shared a very special bush breakfast with our guide Boru. This is Boru. He's been our guide on this stay. He's been wonderful. We'd highly recommend requesting him when you stay here at the JW Marriott. The resort takes you all the way out into the bush and sets up a full breakfast experience, and it's definitely one of the highlights of staying here. All right, we're back at Kikarok Airstrip now. We're gonna make our way from the Masai Mara here in Kenya over to the Serengeti in Tanzania. We have to take a flight over to the land border crossing, and then we'll cross by land and then take another flight over to our next resort. So it's gonna be quite the adventure, and I'm really looking forward to it. The views from the sky again made this flight go by quickly, and after the one hour flight, we made it to the land border where we drove across into Tanzania to board our next flight over to the Serengeti. We are now in the small, small town of Tarime, here in Tanzania, we're about to get on that tiny plane that'll bring us over to Serengeti National Park. This has been one of my favorite things about this whole safari adventure, just these tiny bush planes getting around this vast landscape. Time for another ride. We've now finally made it to Cerro Nera Airstrip out here in the Serengeti, and it's only a short drive away now until we finally get to the Four Seasons, which will be our home for the next two nights. Our guide Karume here at the Four Seasons has prepared for us this nice arrival experience. There's cucumbers and hummus and sandwiches, sparkling wine and beer and soft drinks as well. But first impressions about this vehicle is not quite as cool as the one over at the JW Marriott Masai Mara. Checked in now to the Four Seasons Serengeti. Let's take a look at the King Room with watering hole view which they very kindly upgraded us to. As we come into the room, you can see here, you've got a little seating area, a little bit of a welcome amenity on the table. This television, super interesting, looks like it's live streaming the view right from out here with respect to the watering hole. And I guess if you're not staying in a room with a watering hole view, then this television is gonna be more useful. A few more seats and then the Four Seasons signature canopy bed looks really comfortable. I'm excited to get some rest in this king size bed. Coming around this way, we have a big walk-in closet. Over here is the wardrobe area. You can see they've set up all our stuff ready. And then it looks like this is a nice little vanity slash desk. I'm sure it'll come in handy, whether that's Jesse for getting ready or myself for getting some work done. excited that Ricky has taken the whole week off online. Now if we pop into the bathroom here, you can see we've got a sink on this side. On this end, you've got two separate chambers, frosted glass door for the toilet, bathrobes, and then a shower right here. And then a nice generously sized bathtub, again with the views outside of the watering hole. But of course, the best thing about this room is gonna be this balcony. We step outside, you've got these seats, and the best thing, swimming pool over there and this watering hole. I'll show you guys later on when the animals are around drinking, soaking in the water. It's really quite a sight to behold, especially just chilling out here in the balcony. Okay, Jesse, first impressions. This place versus JW Marriott Masai Mara. What do you think? JW Marriott Masai Mara. You like the JW better? Yes, I miss Bora. Miss Bora, our guide. Okay, forget about Bora. Uh, <laughs> okay, besides Bora, what about the room and I the- I miss Eunice. Okay, besides the staff. Uh-huh. 
What about the, um, the product and the room and the experience so far? I really like this view. It's really beautiful. I like how terrain's a little bit different here. The room itself is good. I love that there's air conditioning, which is key, but this is not a 22 villa property. This is like a 100 property. Yeah, like Jesse said, this is a pretty big resort for season Serengeti out here. It's definitely much bigger than the JW Marriott, which was 20 rooms. So pretty much you're going to have 40 guests on site at any time. This is a significantly bigger place. I feel like it's quite likely that the service may not be quite as personable as what we experienced back in Masai Mara, but we'll have to see what the food is like, what the game drives are like. We've already seen some different animals. Tomorrow we're going on a full day game drive. But for the rest of today, we're going to go chill by the pool and then we're going to have dinner. We close off the day with another incredible meal where you're presented with a buffet combining both western and more traditional Tanzanian dishes. I have to say the Four Seasons does the dining experience really well, arguably better than over at the JW Marriott in Kenya. It's a new day here in the Serengeti, enjoying a breakfast over here, looking out into the sunrise before going on one last full day game drive. This full day out in the wild brought so many incredible moments. From giraffes wandering the Serengeti to hippos cooling off in the water next to us. But the wildest of all was getting within mere feet of these giant lions, knowing that with one quick swipe they would break into our vehicle and consume us. Luckily they didn't, and we got to watch them closely as they made their way past. One of the best things about the Four Seasons Serengeti so far has been the food. Last night's dinner was a buffet that was really good. We had breakfast this morning as well, lunch by the pool, and now for dinner we're at the Boma Grill. There's gonna be a traditional Maasai dance later on, but for now, appetizers, flamed octopus. Super excited to give this a try. Okay, the lamb main course is here. Really excited to dig in, but the Maasai performance is also starting. All right, show's over, and now it's time for dessert because the main course is over as well. I've got here a little bit of tapioca bowl. This is a little ice cream. Real pineapple. It's oh. delicious. How good is it? Amazing. Try it. Mm. Right? Wow. As our experience at the Four Seasons Serengeti comes to an end, I have to say it's been a very rewarding week across both of these safari experiences in Kenya and Tanzania. The JW Marriott Masai Mara was an amazing experience at a beautiful new resort. We loved our guide, Buru, who showed us such an amazing time, and it's a place we're excited to go back to in the future. Meanwhile, the Four Seasons Serengeti was a little bit of an older property, but I loved the swimming pool overlooking the watering hole and the animals coming up to drink, and I thought the food experience at this resort was just a a little bit better than the JW Marriott in Kenya. Either way, whether you're going to Kenya or Tanzania, you can't go wrong with an African safari experience. And if you're thinking of coming to this part of the world, make sure to watch this video next for Turkish Airlines Business Class, which is how we flew down here. It's an amazing flight that you won't want to miss, so I'll go ahead and see you in that video.